Welcome guys, this is Gagan from LifeLearnings.com and this is a 10th video tutorial of pic 16 f 886 In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use multiple 7 segment displays. To connect a single 7 segment display to microcontroller, we need at least 8 microcontroller pins to provide data for 7 segment display. We are using a 28 pin microcontroller and we have only 3 input output ports. If we use a single port for a single 7 segment display, then we can connect only 3 7 segment display to pic 16 f 886 But if we want to use more than 3 7 segments, then how to achieve this? Here comes the time multiplexing concept of 7 segments, where we will use only a single port to provide data for every 7 segment. To achieve the concept of multiplexing, we have to connect data lines of all the 7 segments to a single port of the microcontroller. For this video tutorial, I am using port C to provide data to two 7 segments. These two 7 segments are common cathode. To achieve the time multiplexing concept, we need to provide a control signal to activate the 7 segment. In this case, you can see two control signals marked as seg1 and seg2 for segment 1 and segment 2. We will first activate this segment 1 by providing a ground signal to this pin because this is a common cathode display. After a very small delay, we will deactivate this 7 segment and we will activate this 7 segment by making a low signal on this pin. We will first activate the leftmost 7 segment and we will write a data to display a digit. At that time, all other 7 segments will remain off. Then we will shift to the next 7 segment and we will activate that segment to display the next data. By following this method, we will go to the last 7 segment. We will provide a very small delay between the switching of each 7 segment. And after that, we will get a still display as shown on the right hand side of this image. Before starting the programming, I want to discuss array and how to access an element from an array. First, we have to write the data type of an array, then give a name to that array and then square brackets. I will create the array to save the values from 0 to 9 for 7 segment display. We will write the values for digits in between these two curly brackets and at the last a semicolon is required. This is the first element of that array which is storing the value 0x3f and this is the value of 0 to display on 7 segment. I am using port C for segment data that's why I gave a name to port C as seg data. In the same way I give a name to tri-state C resistor. We have two pins to switch the 7 segments which are connected on RB4 and RB5 pin. As we are using this RB4 to switch the segment 1 and RB5 to switch the segment 2, I give a name to these two pins as seg1 and seg2. In the same way, I define two names for tri-state B4 and tri-state B5 pins. First, I make the segment data port is equal to output by defining the segment direction equal to 0x00. Then I define the direction of segment control pins to output. Here I disable the analog channels on port B by using ANSELH register. So here I am selecting segment 1 and I am deactivating the segment 2. After activating the required 7 segment, I write the data to 7 segment port but I am getting the data from that defined array. We have to use the index number to access the elements from that array. If I write the name of that array and in the square brackets if I write this 0, then we will get this value from array 0x3f. So this value is at index 0 and this value is at index 1 and at the last this value is at index 9. So if we write the name of that array and if we write any value from 0 to 9 we will get the corresponding data from that index location. You can see we are getting the output on a single segment. This is because we select this segment by making the seg1 control signal low and the other segment is deactivated because the second control signal seg2 is high. Now I activate segment 2 by making the segment 2 control pin 0 and deactivate the segment 1 by making this segment 1 control signal to 1. The segment 1 is deactivated and segment 2 is displaying the output because we change the control signals and the segment 1 is changed to high and segment 2 is changed to low. I add a delay of 50 milliseconds after every write to the 7 segment. 
and I moved these all instructions under the infinite loop. You can observe the switching of these two control signals and the data display on these two 7 segments at the same time. I want to display 0 on segment 1 and I want to display 2 on segment 2. So for this we have to change the index number for the array. When I write the hex file to pick microcontroller, we are getting 0 on this segment 1 and we are getting 2 on this segment 2. I will increase the value of delay so that we can observe the switching of 7 segments to display to different values. I change the delay to 300 milliseconds after every write to the 7 segment so that we can observe the switching of the segments. Now it is very clear that we are switching the 7 segments to display to different values. Now after reducing the delay to 3 milliseconds, you can't observe the switching of 7 segment and you will get the still display. To display the count on 7 segment display, first I have to declare a variable of character type. I declare a character variable count to make the counting from 0 to 99. On the first segment we will display the msb of count and to get the msb of the count variable we have to divide it by 10 and then modulus of 10. Then we will get the msb of the count variable. We will display the lsb of count variable on segment 2. For that we have to just make a modulus of this count variable. And at last I increment the count variable to display the next value on the display. So we get the desired output. It is displaying a counting but we are not able to see the actual value of the count because it is running at very high speed. So to slow down the counting I will use a for loop. This for loop will be executed for 100 times for a single digit and after that for loop we are incrementing the count variable again when the count variable is incremented to next value this for loop will again execute it for 100 times to display the same digit let's see what is the output of that program on hardware now we are getting the counting but with the reduced speed So guys, this is how we can control multiple 7 segments from a single port of the microcontroller. But keep in mind that we need control signals for every 7 segment to activate or to deactivate their 7 segment. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.